Hey folks, how y'all doing today? I am setting up my new Davis Vantage Pro 2 uh, sensor, weather station sensor. My other sensor uh, went bad on me. And my uh, original Davis Vantage Pro, excuse me, my Davis Vantage View uh, went completely on me. It didn't start acting right. My Davis Vantage View ISS sensor. And I've upgraded to a Vantage Pro 2. And right here, um, they said people that I talk to themselves compatible with the Davis Vantage View. And as you can see, it is heavy duty. I mean, it is like, holy moly. This thing is hip, heavy duty. And I'm setting up right now. And I want, uh, Davis uh, told me that they're gonna send me an RMA number and the uh, prepaid shipping. I'm gonna have the other one rebuilt. So I have a spare. But in the meantime, they're out of stock of the one store I deal with. I was like, well, they said it was with the Vantage Pro 2. It's compatible. And it's just a standard Vantage Pro wireless I, uh, sensor. And there she is. Uh, it's, uh, sorry about that, y'all. It's a 6 street. Uh, Vantage Pro 2, Davis Vantage Pro 2, 6322. I hope that means that's where the battery goes in your Ethernet or uh, Ethernet, Ethernet cables or phone jacks, whichever they want to call them. There's an antenna and it is a beast. And the cables I ran right here into my box. My ISS sensor box and has a solar panel also right there. And there's a rain cup bucket, excuse me. Very much larger. But yeah, uh, I'll show you the difference between the two. Alright, y'all bear with me. Um, I love my old days, still do. And it's very compact and it shows you a little bit of everything you want to know. And excuse me for a second. But you can see the size difference of the uh, ISS sensor. Let me get back a bit. I am way too close. Yeah, the here's the, the other Davis. This is the 6357. Nice unit. And there's the big boy. Look at the difference. <laughs> Mom got me, holy heck, this thing is hardly like no comparison. So, I'm hoping this one will give me a little better service in the future. But in electronics, they don't last forever. So, you know how that goes. Anyway, put this back. It's ready for shipping. Back to Davis. But now we're getting ready to put the I'm getting ready to put the battery in right now. And see we have um see if they are compatible. Let me see here. Alright, install that battery. Negative. 
cause me Double check. Don't hurt it, double check. Oh, also, I put some dielectric grease. Also, right here, I use dielectric grease on all my uh, equipment. Let me zoom out. It's good for all your solar, wind, weather stations, anything that's going to be outside. This stuff is awesome. It is really cool. I just saw share that to you. Alright. Let's go see if we got any signals there. Alright. Let me go. Let's go in here. Press that button. Come back to that part. <laughs> see if it's reading. Okay, let's see. Uh, set up. Oh, second. Done. 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 All right. Receiving. I can see that. Alright. Well, I'll make a part two video. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is KBSMC. And I will make a part two. Whoa, sorry y'all. I'll make a part two. Whoa, that's ugly. I'll make a part two video as soon as I find something out. Okay, y'all? All right, here we go. All right, thanks for watching. I'll be, uh, this will be part two setting the Vantage Pro 2 to my Vantage View sensor. Vantage Pro 2 sensor with my Vantage View console. All right, thank you for watching. All right, this is KBSMC or Kenneth W. Vire Jr. Thank you very much. All right, bye-bye.